News uh, papers the Obama administration once kept secret show that a broken website and a broken promise about keeping your insurance plan may be just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Obamacare problems. House Republicans have now released new documents shedding new light on the botched health care rollout. Joe Johns is here. He's pouring over these documents. So are these problems worse than we initially thought? Well, with 175 pages of documents, in fact, from administrative meetings, it turns out that it was not just the website, but half of the call center calls having issues in the first few days. Keep in mind, it was in the first few days that the Obama people were pushing callers to the call centers, which had been handling the bulk of them over the past few weeks. The problems have since been corrected. But that technical chaos at the beginning, even more problematic. Are there are new concerns about what security of these of this website. Abs absolutely. It appears they scrambled to fix a flaw that gave some people signing up uh, on the documents uh, the opportunity uh, to uh, to find out who this person is. There's one guy in South Carolina uh, who got information from a guy in North Carolina and alerted everyone that he'd gotten the wrong information. They now say they've actually fixed that. And now we've heard from the Obama administration first estimates of how many people they would really like to see enrolled by the end of this month. Absolutely. Marilyn Tavener, the head of the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, talked about that today at a Senate hearing. Listen. What's the target enrollment number for the end of November for the exchange? For the end of November? Yes, ma'am. I think that we were looking at between October and November, I think that number was, I, I want to say, around 800,000. So it's the first sign of what the administration wants and where they want to be by the end of November. Keep in mind, they have yet to reveal any numbers of actual enrollment and won't until mid-November. But if you look at the number they've just released, 700,000, that's just the people who have signed up uh, to start looking for plans but haven't necessarily enrolled. Uh, the administration warns that the numbers at the outset certainly are going to be low, and now we have a measure of the expectations. Some of the other numbers that caught our ear today at this hearing, uh, Alaska, the senator there, said they had just three enrollees, but Rhode Island has more success with uh, 4,000, according to Senator White. People have actually purchased new insurance. Right. All right, thanks Actual very much. Enrollees. Joe Johns with that part of the story. Thank you.